A little while back, we introduced you to Brad Byers, who set a new Guinness record by swallowing eight 27-inch long swords. We told you then that Brad takes things to the extreme. Well, he's back with Mark Thompson in our Guinness studio. We're about to witness a new category in the Guinness book. Brad Byers will be attempting a new Guinness record that will earn him the title of the Human Toolbox. You're not going to believe what you're about to see. I assure you, it's true. There are no tricks involved. If you're at all squeamish, you may want to turn away from the television set. And certainly, do not try this. Brad, the stage is yours. Thank you. I have here a five-inch long spike and a walnut board and a 16-ounce claw hammer. I'm going to attempt to literally nail this board to my face. Oh, my God. Here I have a length of chain and an ice pick. And I want to show you that this is a real sharp ice pick here. It's the real thing. Of course, it should be quite obvious you shouldn't try this at home. <laughs> the ice pick or the nail or whatever implement I'm using actually enters the left nostril, goes under the sinus passages, continues above the roof of the mouth, and the point of the nail stops just 3 sixteenths of an inch away from the brain stem. Oh. Now here I have just a little board I want to show you that this drill is the real thing. You can see the hole in the board. Now I'll attempt something that's never been done before. It's a real drill, real drill bit. I'll attempt to drill into my own head. Oh my. I have to be extremely careful. <laughs> if I aim up too much, it'll catch on the sinus passages. Too low, it'll come out through from my mouth. Too far back, and I drill into the brain stem. Should reiterate this is hugely dangerous well keep in mind i've been doing this for over 20 years and i would not recommend that anyone try this at home although it is genuine you can die attempting to do it i mean i'm risking my life every time i try it uh, are you just i mean with all due respect i mean didn't you have any other hobbies or a job <laughs> what does it feel like when those different objects are entering your head well it's pretty scary I know when I'm going too far because at the very back of the channel I hear a crunching noise. Oh. The drill has a separate problem because 
not only can you go too far back, but you've got the grooves trying to drill out too. But it has a tendency to want to catch on the bone at the opening of the nose. And so it starts rattling my head when the drill bit's going at high speed. Let's take a look at an x-ray of the nail actually going right into your head. You can see the nasal passages there above the nail. You can see the roof of my mouth below the nail. And you can see it, it actually comes out the back of the throat and then re-enters the head. The doctors tell me that one day I'm going to keel over on stage because the nail channel seems to be working progressively further back. Yeah, I must tell you, while it's, I, I think, really definitely the edges of what anyone should ever see, you gave us a very, very uh, intense few moments here, and we thank you for that. Brad Byers, everybody. Thank you. A Guinness World Record, the human toolbox. Only on Guinness.